Well, you just dumping your bag in there. Yeah. Sounds like you've got all of the house and some in there. I pretty much do. Oh. I'm all right, bud, you? Another down, beautiful planet Earth. Well, guys and girls, it's only blooming Monday. Here we are. We're at work. We've got the first couple of hours in the bag. Oh, just getting in, getting the uh, the extreme ownership book in my ears and just rocking on with it. It's been awesome. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to listen to it a few times. So I want to get home and start making notes. I had a couple of really awesome things that I'll try to relay in the vlog at some point going forward. Hope you're winning. Hope you're well. Hope you're looking forward to the week ahead. Let's get this one underway, shall we? Fire up that intro. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Grace? Hey, good morning. How are you? Alright, thanks, mate. I'm gonna stick my mug right in the ground and fire it just there. Alright. Man, yeah, we've been in about half an hour and the abuse has already started. So uh, yeah, it's been a very bizarre day, guys and girls, as you would have seen by the vlog that it kind of went from work to being at home. Like that. Almost. Anyway. Yeah, very bizarre day. Um just to kind of summarize, I've been locked into the extreme ownership book for probably near on majority part of the day. Um, tuned into Rick Countryman's live or the Corn Life Network's live. Uh, that was heavy. And I've just got to say, dude, to show that amount of honest vulnerability on a live on YouTube, took some balls and um, it was just a hundred percent real and i think there definitely needs to be more content or at least there needs to be more honesty like that within the world of social media because um it does seem like there is this um huge amount of pressure to be fine and uh yeah i don't know it's gnarly man it really is and uh that kind of seemed to be the ongoing or the overall sense of feeling and vibe of the day. So I've spoken to a few individuals throughout the course of the day, people that I'm really close to and that are really suffering. Uh, one person in particular, well, all of them, all of them are suffering in their own right. Um, Apart from that, just been delivered some quite scary news from someone that, again, I care a lot about and is a legendary person and just shocking to hear the state that they've got themselves into in relation to mental health and uh, just consistently trying to dust themselves down and continue as best as they can until a point where it kind of catches them up and sometimes things that are really devastating traumatic and um, almost everlasting there's only so much of it that any human can take and till a point where you need to start unpackaging it and trying to maybe find some i wouldn't say answer but at least some sort of to make some sort of sense of it all. Just to be able to then further better yourself and keep pushing forwards for all of the people that count on you. And also just to um, show some love to yourself kind of vibe. Heavy day, man. And uh, I think I'm just gonna take the opportunity to say that if there is anybody out there struggling, which I know there is a lot of people struggling right now, don't suffer in silence. There is always people that are willing to listen and to their best abilities help. And you're not a burden. It is not weak to say I need help. And um, the world is better with you here. And so whenever that little voice or demon gets really loud in the head, 
saying that you um, you can do something about it and suppress it and that everybody would be better if you're not here. That isn't the case and it is just a demon and probably stemming from uh, from a place of darkness, man, and just shine some light on it. I'm pretty much 100% sure that there are people around you that want to shine the light and help you. And uh, if you don't feel like it's the case, reach out to me. On that, a little something that came my way in the form of extreme ownership today was um, in regards to there's no such thing as a bad team, only bad leaders. It's a chapter in the book, and uh, there's a little there's a, a little piece in it that stuck with me throughout today, and that is it's not what we preach, it's what we tolerate. And uh, yeah heavy I would highly 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 recommend you either get the hardback the paperback or get the audible and listen to it because trust me I'm not one for faith or uh, believing in higher powers but right about now this book is is biblical dude in the grom sense anyway epic book